our planet has lost half of its coral reefs since 1950. And by the end of the 21st century, coral reefs could be completely gone. Apart from urgent action to mitigate climate change on a global scale, it is becoming more and more clear that traditional conservation measures are not enough to ensure the survival of the coral reef ecosystem. If we want to help give coral reefs the chance to survive and thrive in future generations, we must implement active restoration measures to complement coral reef conservation efforts. So how can we restore coral reefs? Several restoration techniques have already been put into practice around the world. Three main methods are often combined to see the best results. First, we have asexual propagation methods that exploit the capacity of corals to reproduce asexually by fragmentation. Fragments of healthy corals can be directly transplanted in a damaged area, or they can go through an intermediate nursery phase. This technique is often referred to as coral gardening. Then there are techniques that exploit the capacity of corals to reproduce sexually. We refer to these as sexual propagation methods. They are based on larval propagation. Since sexually derived coral larvae are released or are planted at the restoration site after the intermediate holding phase, which can be either in or ex situ. Finally, there are substratum enhancement methods, which are all techniques that are focused on increasing potential habitats for reef fauna and for the larval attachment process. Thanks to all of these techniques and many others in use, a multitude of coral restoration projects are coming to fruition and giving hope to deeply damaged reefs.